You've reached the hotline of DieCast. How may I direct your call? It's a little different, huh? Gonna say hi to the people? Well, that was Oso. I'm Walter. Welcome to the hotline of DieCast. I, uh... It's been a minute. It's, uh... It's been a minute, and, 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 and you guys who ride along, you know why. It's, uh, it is what it is, and I'm, uh, I'm making, making some progress getting through it. it unfortunately, the, the dates for the service are a little further out than, than I expected, and so to leave me out here on the East Coast for a while. East Coast is tough, man. It's it's tough, tough, uh, tough hunting, tough people. It's tough all around. Tough what? All the bugs are trying to kill you. Everything. But uh, but I'm so happy to be here. Uh, obviously, with my mom and the rest of my family, a, a, a gargantuan family, and and yeah, yeah. It is what it is. With that, I got to say thank you to everyone who who took the time out of your life to send me and my family well wishes, prayers. I hear them. Uh, hopefully, the big G hears them too. Man, that's just cool. It's it's so appreciated. I, I only thing I can think to do is to keep doing these and and. And uh, I appreciate you guys. That's all I can say. But but uh, let's get into diecast, yeah. There's a bunch going on right now. There's a gosh, there is some new drops coming. So let's let's check those out real quick. I have to remind myself. Well, of course, the uh, I think the uh, RLC, the Pink Pony, just dropped. Fox Body Mustangs are class, classic. It's crazy to think that anything 99 or earlier is now a classic. That's, that puts perspective on the age, but, uh, but gotta, you know, every day I wake up, I feel blessed to make it this far, you know, and so, so we're going to celebrate. We're going to celebrate with some die cast. I, uh, Again, like I said, there's a bunch going on, some new drops, uh, that pink pony is, is cool. And I do appreciate a Mustang, but I don't know if I'm chasing after it. But there is a set I am chasing after. And it's the new Boulevard set. I think it's 100 to 105. First car, 2024 Civic Type R. New casting, premium casting, as well as Gets those, uh, the Japanese motor fans siced up, you know? Um, but I was surprised, you know, that Honda Accord didn't really get people excited. But I guess because the Civics are probably a little more driver, race boy oriented, you know? Um, that's too bad. And right behind that is the Plymouth Savoy. Great car. The patina on it, awesome. It's a hot rod, hot rod garage release, as well as it's a, it's a Plymouth Savoy. It's kind of one of those sleeper muscle cars back in the day, and I've seen a couple in the Matchbox family, but not so many in the Hot Wheels family. So really cool to see this car. There's also, ugh, give it, give me, give me, give me, the Porsche 964. Oof. Oof. Behind that, though, uh, and we've seen this one a couple times, a 99 Ford Lightning SVT, or is it SVT Lightning? SVT Lightning. We've seen this in a number of colors, whether it was Brian's, uh, Brian from Fast and Furious's uh, shop truck, and they've done a number. They've done mainlines, they've done premiums. I feel like there was also a special, or maybe convention car or RLC, but I'm not 100% sure because it's not a... Uh, it's not a casting I really, really collect. And then lastly is the 86 Ford Thunderbird Pro Stock. And I almost said it was, no, and it wouldn't. I almost said it was Matt and Debbie Hayes' car, but it's not because theirs is an 88. 
So, well, also there would be a uh, some sort of tribute to them on it. But boulevards are cars you see on the boulevard, you know, and that's where Hot Wheels tried to keep it as street as possible. And yeah, that would be those. So, so not them, but still an amazing car, amazing casting. Really happy to see that. I don't know if you guys are into the NFT thing. I've, I've, I've had a Silverado and that's it, but that's it. But this next group, pretty tight. I've seen the, uh, seen a Datsun for sale already. Um, 250 is what that thing's commanding. And I actually saw a post where it was like someone was selling it for 185 and then everybody was like, scam, scam, because it was priced low, but that's just weird out there. Just the lack of trust in humans anymore really shows through in our hobby. And, and that's unfortunate, you know, and even more so. I, uh, I found a square body set, uh, the M2 set, posted it for sale for, uh, I think, 140 shipped because I saw them for like 220 210 uh, without shipping. And I'm in a position where I need the money, so... Uh, I'm, I'm not working for a month and I'm out here and the cost of getting here and getting back and everything and just living out here uh, it, 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 It's it's a lot of money and I not wealthy, you know, I spent it all on Hot Wheels in the last, you know, 12 years. So um, I post it and it, it, it's amazing how many people were quick to say And not how many I, I joined this page m2 I know 64 Johnny lightning and think auto world. It's on Facebook and People were so quick to be like, oh, that ship has sailed, you know, now they're, now they're going for 85, you know, and what have you. So, um, so I'm really not that far off, you know I mean? 85 shipping, 105, not bad, you know, so I guess that's what I'm going to ask for the set, but just the tact in which people do it. It's like Mike Tyson said, you know, the social media has got people really comfortable with being rude and not not getting popped in the mouth for it. I'm in a different place right now. Even if I wasn't in this place, I'm still that guy. So uh, so I you know I just I just just replied, let them know. Well, hey, you know that thanks thanks for thanks for taking the time to you know to bring me up to speed. And you know, unfortunately, I don't collect them too. I just bought them to resell them to offset the cost. You know, because the cost of laying my sister to rest and traveling across the country. And that was that was pretty short while ago, so I'm not sure if they read it or or uh, found it. But I invite you guys to go and, and find my post on that page. You know, just people are the biggest threat to humans, and I've coined that term, and and I mean it. And hopefully you understand it. But but hopefully you know uh, you guys are staying unaffected, and you know, and thank you to the homie who was like observe on Facebook don't absorb so you know I'm not hurt or affected but I do, I do think it's laughable you know people just are the biggest threat to humans so anyway along with that I absolutely picked up some extra cars to sell and and thank you thank you to the homies um when I was going live I, I had some guys who request some cars and we're happy to pay the premium for it and shipping thank you guys I I this is the way the hobby should be, and I, I, I really can't say more than thanks. And, and you know, in fact, I'll make sure I share and drop your guys' name as I start showing off some of these cars because I, I did. I, I got a, got a real cool haul, and, and I made sure to start slow. You know, I drove from Montana to Maryland, to Montana, Wyoming, South Dakota, Iowa, Illinois, Indiana. Uh, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, Virginia, D.C. and Maryland. So 11, 11, that's a, I ripped it. Ohio too, Ohio, 12. So I, I made some, made some miles and, uh, and I, and I, I, I hunted as I could, but obviously I was hunting with the, the premise of, of, uh, you know, finding cars too to help offset my cost, but you know, I, I'm, I'm just happy no one was like scalper, you know, cause if 
I'm a scalper. I suck at it if you know what my, my room looks like, or at least one of them. You know, I definitely suck because I haven't sold that many. But, man, I, I have picked up some cars, and I'm going to show you guys in a little different form because I've since forgot where I got some of these, where I didn't, or, or you know, some are obvious because they're exclusives, but excited. But to start off, I will show the square body set from M2. Pretty cool. It's the third, the third offering from these guys. I'm pretty sure it's the third. And, and it's cool because it's the syndicate group and those guys make, they build cars for real and needed to pair with someone. And I believe they approached them too. I'm pretty sure they approached them too and asked them if they would do it. And that was cool of them too to satisfy their desire by doing so. I'm not a big M2 fan because I, I'll show you why. People always wonder why I don't enjoy M2. Look, look at that, that's just shit, right? My thoughts, just shit. That's why, you know, I mean, these Hot Wheels, you know, they're, they might be busting out the blister, but the cars themselves normally aren't damaged unless it's an error, which I don't collect either. I'm not big on mistakes. So, uh, you know, that, that was an issue, but this is a really clean set. First up is the Cheyenne Super 10. I love this. I do love this truck. Gosh, it's well done. I do like the packaging as well with the see-through windows for side. There's that booty. Glutes, baby. And actually, you can see that the truck itself is off kilter in the box. You see how it's slanted? It's a quality issue. Here's the Sierra Grande 15, or rather, pardon me, one of the Sierra Grande 15s. That one is paired with this would be the chase. I don't believe the blue came in a chase, although the blue box also says 750 pieces for chase. But this is that one. Perhaps the blue one is the raw version if they have one out. No, it wouldn't say 750 chases, but, but obviously the same truck. So um, maybe the packaging was labeled the same. Probably my favorite. The K5 Blazer? I mean, I mean, not much to say, right? It's a K5 Blazer. You, you go in places. All those places. <laughs> Actually, it's hard to pick a favorite because I think I love this one maybe the most too, but the Super Cheyenne 30 Dually. Well, it's not a Dually. They put meats on the back, but left the, uh, the uh, fender flares. That would, that would be there for the Dually. So, a uh, nice set I picked up there. Got one for the big homie Matt, too. Because Matt is crazy about square bodies, Chevys. He's got a number of them in real life. As well as he's got a number of them in his collection. Off card. He don't collect cardboard. A really nice set. Really nice set in that regard. Um... But him too, like I say, they, 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 the, the quality control isn't quite there, you know, but. Or just the assembly. I'm sure it leaves the building looking okay, but, you know, getting jostled around and shipping is unflattering. So, um, I'm going to do this a little different. We're going to, uh, we're going to kind of build up. Okay. I do remember I found these. I found these two. In a safe way, shipper. There's three shippers and dumb bends. <laughs> More square bodies. Now, I was hoping they would have the black grill. If you guys aren't aware, there's a black grill variation for this truck. I... But I know that this is a great truck and it's a desired piece. And it... I grabbed a couple, so I keep one and... and uh... Offer one to whomever, whomever needs it, and or maybe just to you channel members. And thank you, channel members. Gosh, thank you guys so much. And which reminds me, I can hear Abby in my head right now. 
hit the like button. Tell them, Papa. Hit the like button if you like what you hear. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, put me in your channel lineup. It doesn't cost you a thing. If you dare to be a channel member, I invite you to. Please do. It, it really helps keep this going. And it also is the only way that you're, you're uh, inserted into the giveaway. So I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm going to probably do it in a separate video, though. And uh, probably just a short. So you guys eye out for that for your channel members. And best of luck to whomever wins. I, I did grab enough things to make it a, or a couple, a couple of those. Um, on my travel out, I did find Treasure Hunt, a Ford Mustang Mach-E, the 1400. Man, that new Mustang GT that's coming out, the, the one 300,000, 300,000, but what I read on it. It's going to be, I think it might be worth it. I don't know. It, it looks insane. So, uh, you know, the Ford dudes, they're, they're really putting all that effort in. They're putting all their effort in. Uh, we'll go up to, we're going to step it up to some, uh, what you call the Silver Series cards. Stumbled across a Neon Speeder Skyline. I believe FOMO has got me collecting Skylines. And for some reason, I love this pink Neon Speeder. And it's a 2000 GTR, yeah. Love this thing. And if you weren't aware, the Neon Speeders are a Walmart exclusive. And the wheels mimic the Walmart logo. I think I've mentioned that and even done its own special segment on just those. That's pretty cool, you know. Cool for Walmart. Cool for us because we got some cool cars out in the deal. Staying in the Silver Series, I was able to find one of the Hot Wagons Dotsons, you know, and this one, this one kind of pisses me off though, because it says it's a Bluebird, but the steering wheel is on the left, and that makes it not a Bluebird, because the Bluebirds are right-hand drive. Those are the JDM cars. With that, it should just be a Dotson wagon, a 510 wagon. Call it an error if you'd like. Also came across this 80s Firebird. I love it you just put it in the decade and rather not gave it a year. But the 80s Ultra Hot Firebird? Let me a Firebird. Look at those T-tops, man. Look at the... Some cars just aren't for sale and this is one of them. There you go. There you go. Respect. T-tops, and look at that chicken. Oh, that's probably that way, the right side up. Look at that. Whew. She goes. She goes, man. I couldn't wait. I opened this right away. The Volkswagen Coffer Racer. I mean, I'm not even a Beetle guy. I respect the Beetle. I know that it's the uh, precursor to a lot of really cool cars that have come to market as well as I can respect the fact that this one is hella fast. I mean, look at the pipes coming out the back. You can obviously see the Hot Wheels Tampo on the, uh, on the, uh, you guys are probably screaming it right now. So I'm gonna let you scream it because you know what I'm talking about, but it's on there. You, you know what, and we're gonna, we're, we're gonna, I don't want to say I'm losing it, but Hot Wheels are kind of are, are becoming a little lackluster to me, you know, a little bit, you know. Um, so I'm finding other brands to kind of go deep in, and and I've always been a collector of Matchbox, but I've definitely been checking Matchbox a ton, and I'm glad I did because here's a Mercedes AMG SL63. Oh yeah. Get you some of that. They did a great job on this casting. Proportions look right. The details are there. I'm a happy camper. Key. New for 2020. Foe. Yup. The Targa. The Targa Foe. 
Look at that, Porsche Carrera. And Carrera's, Carrera originally was the motor. Carrera was originally a race engine, period. And all the fast cars Porsche built for, uh, for the uh, market, the mainstream market, uh, the, the super fast ones were badge Carrera and you can only thank those guys for that because they just drive around. That's another thing being on the East Coast the cars I've seen on the road. I just saw a brand new Taycan the, uh, the EV It was a beast and it was crazy because I saw it. It was I was on a freeway in the middle lane and it was SRT Hellcat past me on the left a uh, Super Sport Camaro passed me on the left. And then came this beast. Quiet, quiet. The other two had a rumble, you know, I heard them coming. So I wasn't really, I almost stopped looking, but as soon as I caught it, man. They're just so muscly, you know, but awesome cars. Awesome cars. I was really happy to find that. The Chevy C10, 68 though. A little different year. And. It's a C10, you know, you, you don't, I don't think you let these go. I don't think, I don't think you pass these by and it's new for 2024 as well. So it's nice to see some fresh castings. I am, if you couldn't tell in my little story there, I am a Porsche nut. So this 911 GT3, I'm just grabbing those. I think I want to do a Porsche giveaway when I get home because I've got so many extras. This will be one of them. This will be one of them, but this Porsche 911 GT3, that off-white. Wow. Just epic car. Epic car. Now here's something really weird, too. I found, found a bunch of these 2008 Holden, the VE Ute SSV. Found a couple of these, and these are, these are the Target exclusive Matchbox red cards. So I found a couple of these, and then another Target. Can't remember what was, yeah, I do remember, it was by Captain White's, by Captain White's Crab House. If you guys live in Maryland, you know where Captain White's is now. It's the Target across the street from there. There was like 10 of the, uh, the Mercedes-Benz, the 220s, the red carts, and I guess there was a plus to seeing them. You know, no one just bought them to sell. But the downside is, I think they're underappreciated. You know, I can't believe that 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 many because there'd been there'd been people searching in there, but um, but they didn't pick those up. I would have picked them up. Something else I definitely picked up, and I got these in South Dakota, right down from the old Mustang Hunter. <laughs> Check out this Aventador. Pardon me, I should be proper. This 2018 Lamborghini Aventador SV Roadster. Ooh, moving part, new for 2024. Really curious if, if the packaging is gonna damage the paint like we've, we've seen since they, uh, since they changed over to, to this, this uh, packaging manner. And great on them to change the packaging because it's eco-friendly. So, so, you know, good thoughts were there. Just unfortunately, some of us are going to have to suffer for saving the world, I guess. But, man, Lord, I hope it doesn't damage this. Oh, man. Volkswagen. This is what, the 1600? 1600? TL Fastback. Fastback's the keyword. They make a notch back. They make the square back. The fastback. This is the fast one. And you just don't see too many of this casting all around. Um, kind of has its cool little moon eye type rims. But I wish I wish they would have made the moons a lot more like they did on the drawing. You can see the back wheel has a moon. But the front one is missing the center. Even the picture shows the moons. But maybe, uh, maybe it's... Maybe it's just too much money to do that. Maybe not. I don't know. But would have liked to have seen some moon moon wheels on there. Where are we going up in price? Let's go. Uh, this one was cool. I have a, and I, I did get a couple of these. The HW Flame set. 
I got one for me and one to sell because the first one I bought opened it and gave that C10 to Matt because he doesn't collect cardboard and he let me have the other four. What is it? The uh, 83 or uh, the 56 Ford F100, a Boulevard Bruiser, a Muscle Speeder, and a 64 Impala. Super duper cool. Shit, who did I get this for? I'm going to have to go back in my lives and remind myself who I picked out the Fast and Furious 5-pack for. And this is the Walmart-specific one. If you guys don't know, the Walmart-specific one has a Supra on the back, unframed. The Target one has a frame around this picture. So it's a little different. It's a variation, I guess. I don't know. Yes, yes, it's a, it's probably a money grab. It's not a factory difference. It's a, probably a money grab to get us to buy two five packs and have both variations because the cars, they can't do the variations. Um, but the packaging is pretty easy. Still really happy to have those. Really happy to have those. I also, oh, I've been touching and putting this back so many times. And I'm glad I waited to buy because I knew I knew I was gonna find one with a really strong mix. And I think the homie Drew just showed me his, and he has the same exact one. But it's the eight pack with the GTI exclusive red. But it also has that Beetle. Has a little baby Ferrari Fiat. There's your golden nugget, the Porsche Widowmaker, and that C3 vet. Man. And whatever else the other car is. I'm off. My mom's walking back. Oh, man. I'm glad I waited because I almost bought one that was super bobo. But I was like, man, there's gonna, there's gonna, there's got to be a better mix out there. So I did my due diligence and I waited. And this is what I got. Um, well, I got this very early, too. I think I got this in Mustang Hunter's Backyard. The Nissan Concept. 2020 the vision i think this is just a super pissed off gtr you know fantasy prototype car uh it's a grand turismo 7 but you can only imagine that's what they were looking or the platform they started with was uh the i guess it'd be generation 5 it's not a skyline though because they stopped calling them skylines in that gen but Really cool car. Looks hella fast. Couldn't pass it by. Couldn't pass it by. Nor could I pass by this boulevard. Oh. Another Porsche. This 935 looks... It's just... It's right. It's funny because I'm seeing so many cars in the East Coast. If you look at the... Uh, the the tampos on the top so many cars out here and they're like grown-ass men and they have like the scratch decals on their car there's one i saw in particular went hella heavy on the scratches but you know to each their own man I'm, I'm not talking shit i'm just probably not doing it to my cars but uh kind of reminds me of that and i also kind of want to just add a some sort of race number to that meatball on the side too since it's blank a number one or seven or double oh seven i don't know i'm gonna do some stuff Ooh, i found one of these for myself and i also found one for the homie scott good old scott all b thank you scott man scott scott's been supporting the channel supporting me and Scott, I thank you, bro. You've gone above and beyond. I, I it's it's so tough because I, I I genuinely am thankful and 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 sitting by myself talking to the cameras, I don't feel like my thanks is there enough. So I just gonna keep saying thank you. One more time, thank you, and uh, and I'll get this thing shipped off in the morning. I got a I commandeered a box right here. Because I walked into uh, some box openings at, at uh, 
Who was it? Mer- oh, at uh, Arundel Mills. Arundel Mills. My my mom and 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 my aunt uh, they gamble, so I took him to the uh, Maryland Live, and that place is actually really cool. So they got their gamble on. I went across the street to Walmart. Found some some cars and and I'm glad the timing was cool. Really nice lady there helped me out. Uh, can't remember her name, but super thankful for her help. So she let me she let me check out some uh, M2 124 scale. Really cool. The new Ford Boss Mustang was in it and uh, I just I'm, I can't I can't buy that scale. Man, in fact, those Ferraris, the Bragos, Target. So we don't have them at my target. Man, it took all my energy not to buy those. And, and I've seen like five different ones, plus a Porsche Carrera GT. It took all my energy not to buy those things, but but I didn't because I don't collect those. Though I'm thinking about collecting 143 scale stuff. Not Hot Wheels, but 143 scale stuff. There's so many cool ones out there. The, uh, the Jadas, the Pink Slips. I saw a really cool green Porsche 911 GT3. It was hard to walk away from that too, but I'm not in a position to be spending these extra dollars, you know? So I'm not. Uh, I did need this for my set. So put it on my credit card. Because again, for the big homie Matt, I found the first one. I opened it and gave him the C10 ramp truck because he collects those. And I got to keep the uh, Chevelle. But now I got one on the card so that my set will be complete. Ooh, and I got this from the homie, my neighbor up north, 905 Cadillac. He needed this Mopar. So uh, during one of my lives, he uh, he asked if I'd grab it for him, and I said, show sure will. Dan Gurney's All-American Racer, Zinc. Dan Gurney was a racing mug. Boy, he... Google Dan Gurney. Racer. Racer, boy. Gosh, so that was anticlimactic, but yeah, that's uh, that's that's my haul. That's my haul. Like I said, I did grab a couple extra, so I have an extra Flames 5-pack and a... Um, oh, and an M2 square body set. If anyone needs, um, let me know. Hit me up on DM or, or what have you, and I'll get those things shipped out from Maryland. Unless you live out here, maybe we can link up. Because on Saturday the 20th in D.C., Red Bull is going to bring the RB, uh, the RB, the, the Formula One car is going to be in downtown D.C. Whipping brodies and donuts, I hope, man. And, who was it? Somebody commented. I posted it. Someone commented. Uh, until he hits a pothole and just boom, just explodes the car. And that happens in street circuit racing a lot. And, and it, obviously this car won't be the race car because the actual race car should be in China. Um, it's been a while since they raced in China, like five or six years. So that's going to be a fun race this weekend to watch. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys watch Formula One or even if you don't. Maybe give it a look this weekend. It should be a cool, cool race. Uh, yeah, my G's. I think that is it. But it's not it. Because I'm sending those full peg vibes. Praying that you guys find all the cars, the die cast that you desire. And uh, the, as, I, as I progress to the East Coast, the pegs just got worse. And worse, and where I saw 2022 FK stuff, like newly stocked, crazy, you know. So I, not that I've not heard, you know, you guys, but man, it was tough to see in re, in a real person. That got to be really disheartening. But but at the same time, that means you guys have more stuff to look forward to still. Trying to be half full instead of half empty guy. But um, so you guys have some cars to look forward to in the future. And, and I hope you guys find them. So again, sending those full peg vibes. Appreciate you guys tuning in and riding along. Hope everybody is well. Thank you, channel members. I'm going to um, get updated. 
with uh, any new channel members I have. And we're going to put together a short and we'll spin the wheel. Might spin it twice. We'll see. We'll see. But thank you guys, man. Thank everyone for everything all the time. Holla at your boy. Peace.